Hey, it's John Green with Work With John Green. Thanks for uh, watching this video on my blog. And like the caption says, what you're doing in social media right now could be hurting your business. And it could not only be hurting your business, it could be hurting your business for your team, other people in your business, and for future members. And I'm gonna give you an example of exactly what I mean. And if you're doing this, um, you know, stop right away. Um, so a lot of people tend to use Facebook for their social media marketing. And what's happening is people are using Facebook and they're, let's just be honest, they're dropping their links everywhere. When you go into some of these Facebook groups, first of all, I wouldn't advise marketing too much in the, um, kind of the spammy Facebook groups, because what you're going to find is, uh, just a lot of, People that don't really understand how to market, they're just dropping links everywhere, they're promising false promises and, you know, click here and make $5,000 a day and all this stuff, right? So they're really marketing by trying to sell you on hype and get you to click a link and buy a product or, you know, pay some crazy fees and join. So always veer away from that. I, I, you're smart, you're here, I don't need to tell you that. What you need to avoid is I'll go to somebody's Facebook profile and I'm going to use MCA Motor Club America for an example. And you'll see, um, Hey, I'm making $500 a day with MCA. Um, join MCA, you know, you won't be sorry. And people with money and pictures of money and all that. To me, you're just promoting MCA to earn money, right? I joined a business just to have a business to make money. So my misconception and misbelief about MCA is it's just a marketing business media to give me a business platform for me to bring other people into so that they can, so I can make money. I don't know anything about the product. I don't know anything about, you know, MCA. So when you post your links everywhere, right, this is what's going to happen. I see all that, I make up my mind. I might even go online and research it. If I like what I find on research, well, I'm gonna join somebody up that I might know, like, and trust before I go back to your page. So if I happen to research it and I like what I see, then um, great, MCA, you got another customer. Um, if I don't, then, you know, I'm making up my mind based on a few sentences or a few, you know, lingo that I hear, and that's not good, right? So that's a really poor way to market. Um, and it's hurting. So now somebody who markets the right way reaches out to me and I'm having a conversation with them. And I'm like, yeah, so, okay, tell me a little bit more. And they're like, hey, so I'm with MCA. And I'm like, oh, MCA. Even though you didn't burn the fields by posting your links everywhere, I now have a misconception, a poor attitude of MCA, and I stopped hearing you. And, you know, shame on me for not being open. But this is what happens and it's all over the internet and there's a lot of noise, right? Think about that. So a better way to go about it on social media is appealing to curiosity, okay? Um, hey, I was able to, um, you know, make it to my daughter's uh, Little League game today. I don't know if you use the word Little League, but baseball game. It was Little League in Southern Vermont where I grew up. Went to my um, daughter's softball game, and uh, this was her ninth game. She got the winning hit, and I, I'm just so glad I, I haven't missed any of her games. And somebody might respond like, wow, that great, good for you. But I might be wondering, how do you make it to all your kids' games? Don't you work? And then we can chat, right? Then we start a conversation to say, hey, well, let's, let's talk. I can give you a call. Or if you want to use Messenger, because a lot of people are using Messenger, I can I can talk to you more. Um, what's important is, is I provide you enough information for you to um, formulate an informed opinion if this is a good fit for you. So when's a good time? And you're setting appointments, right, with people. Yes, it's a little more work than posting your link, but 95% of the people that see your link are going to go right through it. I know what MCA is. And the ones that do click on it are going to read real quick and are going to be like, yep. They don't know that 
you know, you, Sue, watching this video, really is doing well with it, and you are making it to your kids' games. Um, so those type of curiosity posts are for, far more valuable than just posting your link. Um, the more curiosity you can create, the better. Yeah, you can go into the groups and um, add value in the group. Start conversations. And conversations lead to trust and building connections. And then, um, you know, let me, uh, you know, hey, are you open to hearing what I am doing? Um, when you lead with value, people are tend to um, be a little more open and not shut you down right away. When you're just sharing your business, you come across as spammy and uh, you're just out to make a buck. All right. So if you're doing that, stop right away. Um, add value, curiosity, um, other good posts. Um, we were, I was talking to some members of my team and, and I heard about uh, a, a dad braiding his daughter's hair and uh, he posted, you know, I, I'm so fortunate I get to, to get my kids ready for school every morning. Now, if you're a uh, a busy person who like has to be out the door and your kids are on the bus and you're like, how the heck is this guy braiding his daughter's hair? Like, oh, that's awesome. It's sweet. First of all, it's beautiful, right? Dad's involved with your kids. But how, how are you involved or how are you able to help your kids with your homework? Or how are you able to get to all those events? Or how are you able to make it to, you know, all those plays? And how are you able to coach your kid's soccer team? Um, three days a week and have a job and oh actually I work from home I'm able to um, build income from home um, setting my own hours let me tell you what I'm doing hey yeah are you open to a call right now that can work for any business you're in right MCA I don't even know half of them out there um, but you gotta you know you gotta have the posture you gotta believe in the business you're you're with and you gotta um, you know, lead with the curiosity and lead with the solution and um, provide value. And um, I guarantee you, your social media marketing will improve, especially in Facebook where billions of people are. And then what will happen in Facebook is when people start to comment like, hey, I want to hear more or that sounds great. How do you do that? Hey, I'll message you or I'll give you a call. When can we go? That's like people are going, hmm, I wonder what they're talking about. Now I'm going to, and the more comments, right, it keeps your post in the newsfeed for others to see. And the more comments, the more people become curious. So links don't work. Spam doesn't work. Promising millions of dollars doesn't work. Show people curious ways that you're able to, to do things that they dream of, that they want to do. Okay, if you're on vacation and you can go on vacation every month, say, oh my God, I'm on another vacation, woohoo, right? How the heck are you going on vacation all the time? So curiosity, value, because you do have a business that can provide a solution, right? If you don't, well, we can talk. See how I did that? So anyways, I hope these little tips help you um, and uh, help you with, with value and in increasing your um, marketing on social media and getting some of the results you want. Give it a try. Um, entice your audience. Stimulate curiosity. And... Uh, Stay tuned for another episode of Working with John Green. Take care.